Hi, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Wednesday Bites. That's Bites with a Y from the Proactive Business Network. I'm Jimmy Young. Joining me in studio right now is Nancy Cantor. She is a consultant and executive coach in the Metro West area, someone I've known for a number of years. Actually, I'm a satisfied customer, I think would be a good way to look at this. Nancy, great to see you again. It's great to see you as well. Talk to me a little bit about teamwork, leadership and communication. Those are kind of you know, the highlights on your, on your website and, and really how you work executive coaching into that. Well, when I start working with the business, I feel it's very important to work with the executive, the owner, the person, the CEO, the person that's running the company, because I think it's a little bit of a top-down phenomenon in terms of whatever is going on in that company. So I work with the, uh, the head honcho. And in that process, working with them to get very clear what their goals are, you know, I do a lot of work to help them elevate their perspective because it's so hard for business owners not to be in the weeds of what they're doing every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a conversation with me is this opportunity to pull them out of the weeds, look at things from the bigger perspective, make sure they're right on vision, mission, you know, like they're right on board for where they want to go, and I help them strategize how to get there. Maintaining your focus. I'd say maintaining a lofty focus, you know, the bigger picture, mm -hmm. and then being able to translate it down to the details of how do you manifest that bigger vision. I think also, too, one of the things that's beneficial when people work with me is then they can bring me in to work with their staff. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people contact me because they want me to come in and work with their staff, but once I start talking with them, I realize it's very important to work with them first to get them on board. And then once they're clear about what they're working on, how they need to do it, it's much easier to implement a strategy through the staff. Gotcha. Um, the Entrepreneur's Connection is something that you're involved with as well. Explain what that is and how that might differentiate from your stuff from others. Well, I think what distinguishes my stuff from other people's stuff is there's two things. I'm very much about development. And when I, you know, when I was talking about business owners before, it's very important for the person that's running the business to be in development, to really shift who they're being, how they view things, their worldview impacts everything. So I'm a little bit, my tagline is where personal growth meets professional success. And I help people have those insights that enable them to make the changes that are gonna impact their business. And I think that's the key thing. You gotta start with the people. And if you can make changes with the people, then that enables them to do much better with their businesses and the people that work with them. Um, you run CEO workshops. What are some of the things that you do in a CEO workshop? Well, just to clarify how I relate to CEO, it's Chief Entrepreneurial Officer. Okay. So I look to work with business owners, maybe you know, a little bit smaller business owners, maybe with 10 to 40 employees. And we do a lot of work um, kind of based on the E-Myth by Michael Gerber. Mm -hmm. So really he kind of coined the phrase working on your business, not in your business. And he talks a lot about like what's your life goal and how do you create a business that would fit your life goal, which I really like. Mm -hmm. And then how do you start thinking about your business? Because they say as an entrepreneur, you have to wear three hats. You have to be the entrepreneur, which is the visionary, the manager who makes sure things get done and the vision gets realized, and then the technician who actually does the work of the business. And that's really the first distinction that it, when people get that, even though they might be wearing all three hats, they can see with maybe they've just been being the technician or you know they're a great visionary, but they haven't been a very good manager. So I think the beginning of these workshops is giving people distinctions that can help them analyze how they've been doing and how to do it better. Gotcha. And that's certainly one thing I learned uh, opening my first business and closing it was you can't run your business and build your business at the same time. It was just very challenging, let's just say. Um, what is the number one challenge facing small business people today, do you think? Well, it's funny to say what is the number one because... I, it's I, tough to say what is the top one, right? Right, because I've worked, you know, obviously I don't work with millions of people to analyze right. that. But um, I would say with the people that I've wor been working with lately, it, I would say staffing. Yeah. You know, getting good people and, and being able to train people. Like one of the projects I'm working on right now is somebody who's 
is re-putting together a staff. She's going to bring in an executive director. She's, she's a veterinarian, and she's going, to be, she's going to hire a practice manager. But we're really looking at how to train the new people that are coming in, the techs and the front end of the house kind of people. She's got a fantastic manual, mm. but we're looking at how do you translate a manual into actual practices that people do. So we're putting that whole training development process in place. It's all about the people. I get that. Nancy Cantor, thank you so much for coming in and our new facilities here in Marlboro. And I look forward to seeing you again in the Metro West area. Fantastic. Check it out at the entrepreneursconnection.com or the dreamfactorycommunity.com. She's Nancy Cantor. I'm Jimmy Young. We'll see you next time on Wednesday Bites.